Welcome to the Royal Ontario Museum. A treasure trove of art, culture and natural history. In this video, we'll explore the top things to do at one of Toronto's most iconic landmarks. Established in 1914, the ROM is one of the most important cultural institutes in Canada. This protects the spinal cord. Though. Every color is a different mineral. Canada's largest museum houses millions of artifacts in 40 galleries and exhibition spaces. Actually, yes, get to nice. feel the claw. Holding a meteor for the first time, like touching it. The ROM offers a captivating experience for history buffs, art enthusiasts, and curious minds alike. ROM is located 20 minutes north of Union Station in the University of Toronto District. The main entrance is at the Bloor Street West. The nearest subway is the Museum Station. Insider tip, park at 180 Bloor Street because that's where you get the best access to the ROM. In front of the ROM and it is right on the Bloor West and the Avenue Road. ROM is accessibility friendly to help with mobility. There are elevators and ramp throughout the museum. Here is the ticket price for visiting the ROM. Adults $26, child $4 to $14, $16, senior plus $65, $21, Youth 15 to 19, 20 dollars. Third Tuesday free nights are from 5.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. After getting the tickets, you can go straight ahead to Bernie the Big Dinosaur. There are maps in several languages and QR code which enables audio tour right from the comfort of your phone. Do grab one of these pocket guides because this will really be helpful. Go past the Purple Dino Bernie and head to the Curly Gallery which adorn the towering totem poles and a magnificent staircase. Marvel at the striking architecture while immersing yourself in the rich heritage that the museum has to offer. First floor, we began with the first people's exhibit. Rom sits on the ancestral lands of the Wendat including the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Rom pays homage to the First Nations people through this exhibit hall and showcases artifacts from their amazing ways of life including canoes, snow clothing, tools and so much more. Continuing at the first floor, we headed to China and Korea galleries. This section has some of the most vibrant specimens of artifacts and exhibits. China's legacy of building and architecture is told through the largest and best collection of Chinese architectural artifacts outside of China. The reconstruction of a corner of a Chinese imperial palace is the focal point here. Chinese invented porcelain and they were the only ones who knew how to make it for about a thousand years. Every color is a different mineral. Chinese murals and sculptures adorn the gallery here. There are many artifacts from Korea right from the 1st to the 21st century. Once done with the first floor exhibits, we wanted to grab some snacks. The ROM has a great cafe called the Coffee Bar at the main level. and baklava and this is the muffin I'll show you quickly Druxy's which is the restaurant and that's at the basement Downstairs is Druxy's cafe which is a deli and serves sandwiches, burgers, soups and salads There is ample sitting arrangement as well We are going to the second floor now After the first floor we headed to the second floor in Earth's treasures, there are meteorites, rocks and pretty much billions of years worth of geology stuffed into this ultra-informative gallery. Holding a 
met you for the first time, like touching it, it just feels like pure metal. Dolomite. Yeah, very famous. Next, we walked past the rotunda or the gold colored domed ceiling of the Dawn of Life Gallery. Dawn of Life exhibits the journey to 4 billion years old origin of life on our planet. It houses one of the most extraordinary fossil collections in the world. ROM showcases fossils and rocks like a time capsule, the wondrous beginnings and devastating extinctions that have shaped our planet from the dawn of life up to the age of dinosaurs. Having one of the best if not the best collection of dino fossils in the world from land, sea, air specimens spanning a timeline of 200 million to 65 million years ago. You literally get to be mesmerized at the sheer size of these fossils. Hard to imagine what the real world would have looked like at that time. Next, we walk to the mammals gallery. We took the mobile tour at every possible chance which was very convenient and informative. Interesting to note is that the dinosaur and mammal sections are housed inside the relatively newly built Michael Lee Chin Crystal. We next entered the world of birds. This gallery displays an amazing collection of our winged friends. Includes a life-size albatross with its 9 feet wingspan. This gallery showcases more than 100 winged creatures, many presented in full flight. This section leads to the hands-on biodiversity area where kids get to touch and feel things. From touching jaws to crawling through fox dens. It was now time for the most thrilling part of the ROM, the Bat Cave. Experience a spectacular dramatization of bats in flight during a nightly exodus for food. Featuring more than 20 bat specimens and over 800 models, the cave is a realistic portrayal of the St. Clair Cave in Jamaica. ROM welcomes families to a reimagined play-based learning space, thereby encouraging learning that creates meaningful and memorable experience for the young audiences. Next up, Biodiversity Life in Crisis explores three important themes. Life is diverse, life is at risk, life is interconnected. This gallery emphasizes on the importance of a harmonious coexistence for all living beings. In the second floor, what impressed me thoroughly was the Toy Soldiers section. The collection, originally donated by Hal Jackman, ex Lieutenant Governor of Ontario, traces the historic lifespan of Britain's Limited, one of the world's pioneers in the manufacturing of Toy Soldiers. After the second floor, now let's head up to the third floor exhibits. This gallery has a wonderful display of European home decor and style through the ages. Also, this gallery presents a range of collection of artifacts from fashion armor spanning the Renaissance to the Victorian era. Africa, the Americas and Asia Pacific. This gallery displays spiritual and domestic life of people from Africa, America, Asia Pacific with great collection of artifacts. At the Middle East and South Asia Gallery, you will see artifacts covering thousands of years right from the cradle of Indus Valley Civilization to Gandhara Art Period. From the beautiful South Asian exhibits, now we are going to Egypt. Egypt. Ancient Egypt. This iconic Rome Gallery houses an amazing collection of objects spanning from 4000 BC to 400 AD. From the spiritual, ritual, daily articles and objects, one could get a very good idea about how life was in ancient Egypt and how incredible was this civilization. From interactive displays to actual mummies, this gallery has it all. Don't forget to scan the QR code to get more in-depth information right from your phone. Scan the QR code and you should be able to know 
about the place so just make sure to put your earphone on and you'll be all informed ancient room bronze age ancient cypress greece and byzantium in this section there is the largest collection of ancient roman art in canada the gallery displays more than thousands years of history covering the enormous land area which was once the vast roman empire also witness those amazing artifacts covering ancient greek civilization more than 1500 objects tell the story of the development of the greek world from the archaic and classical periods added to that are also displays from roman empire's contemporary civilizations in cyprus nubia and byzantium you will be mesmerized at the incredible architecture as you move from corner to corner of the rome do stop in between to admire reflect upon and absorb this wonderful experience And finally at the fourth floor there are the Royal of Benny and the Patricia Harris galleries both of these galleries host rotating exhibitions And now we covered all the four floors amazing experience at the Rom Whether you are exploring the fascinating exhibits engaging with interactive displays or immersing yourself in cultural heritage the Rom promises an unforgettable journey That was from the beautiful Royal Ontario Museum. Five hours almost that we spent, and every hour was so worth the knowledge that we attained. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts. Until next time, happy exploring.